Will artificial intelligence destroy humanity? Will GPT-5 be the first artificial intelligence to destroy humanity? And why are neural network experts calling for missile strikes on artificial intelligence development centers? Today we will talk about the latest news from the world of technology and show you the latest robots built on the basis of artificial intelligence. Is the war between humans and machines getting closer by the second? You're on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. When Elon Musk or Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak make predictions about technology, many people listen to them. But what if they and more than a thousand scientists declare that the GPT-5 will destroy humanity and it is necessary to urgently ban the training of neural networks, starting from the GPT-4? Some American AI experts, such as Eliezer Yudkowsky, are directly proposing to launch missile strikes on AI development centers in order to prevent the destruction of civilization. At the same time, an employee of OpenAI, the company that develops the GPT chat, claims that the GPT-5 will reach the level of general intelligence and become indistinguishable from humans. It is difficult to react to such statements without apprehension. GPT-4 is very capable indeed, and GPT-5 will be even better. Rumors of its superpowers were started via Twitter by an unnamed OpenAI advisor, referring to his insiders inside the company. According to him, OpenAI expects it to achieve general artificial intelligence. However, this is hard to believe. Not so long ago, right before the release of GPT-4, which was also attributed superpowers OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, explicitly said that expectations were inflated and no one in the world had strong artificial intelligence. Altman explained that GPT is essentially a super-advanced version of T9 that calculates connections between words and suggests the most likely sequence. Yes, it can generate text over several sentences. In the future, it may be able to generate video, but no more than that. It is very likely that communication with GPT-5 will resemble communication with a human, which we already see sometimes with GPT-4, but no one in the world has the technology for general artificial intelligence capable of thinking like a human. The main danger of these technologies now in the near future is the creation of fake news, the generation of non-existent facts and the leakage of user information. This is where the creation of a regulatory framework that will regulate the use of artificial intelligence would really be helpful. I would also like to say a few words about the Midjourney neural network, which will become unavailable for free use. The reason is the emergence of a large number of realistic deepfakes, some of which have outraged the public. Among the most sensational are the arrested Donald Trump and the Pope in fashionable outfits. The viral popularity of the photos drew too much attention to the developers, so they decided to limit access to Midjourney. True, the restriction consists of a $10 fee, so it can't be called a strict restriction. Also, the developers have introduced stop words to generate images. Among them, for example, is the word arrested. Attempts to circumvent bans can lead to the cancellation of the account. And continuing the theme of neural networks, Developers at Stanford University were able to train a simple and inexpensive open language model, Llama 7b, to the level of GPT chat for only $600. The scientists spent 500 of those dollars to have GPT generate training dialogues for them. Modeled on those the neural network itself was trained on, having automated the task through an API, the researchers received 52,000 dialogues. The fine-tuning of the model also cost hundreds of dollars. It took three hours and required eight of 100 cloud processors running on 80 gigabytes. As a result, the developers got a neural network, which in their own tests was as good as the GPT chat. The artificial intelligence was named Alpaca, and 52,000 training dialogues together with the code allowing to generate new ones appeared on GitHub, so that other enthusiasts could try to create their own version of the GPT chat. Creating GPT chat counterparts in general has become mainstream. So Google opened access to its own counterpart GPT chatbot called Bard. The media assures that the chatbot from Google is several times better than its counterpart. But it is still very difficult to verify this, because the neural network is now available only to pre-register to the waiting list. Let's move away from neural networks and talk about the future. Ray Kurzweil, Google CTO, and a famous futurologist that many of us listen to, has released another book called The Singularity is Near, Part 2. In this book, he made a very high-profile prediction. 
According to him, already in seven years we will reach immortality, and thanks to nanorobots that can heal and restore our body at the cellular level. Kurzweil believes that the bots, ranging in size from 50 to 100 nanometers, will soon be running through our veins making us immune to disease, aging and death. Ray also believes that the development of neural interfaces will allow consciousness to be downloaded onto digital media, which will also lead to immortality. Do you believe this prediction from futurologist Ray Kurzweil? Share your opinion in the comments. The Chinese search engine Beidou also decided to keep up and introduced its own alternative chat GPT. This chatbot based on artificial intelligence is called ErnieBot, but in fact it is not ready yet. The company rushed to present it on a wave of hype. At the presentation we could only see a few pre-recorded videos and no live demonstration. In the videos shown, ErnieBot answers questions from books, performs mathematical calculations, understands Chinese dialects and creates videos and images under a text description. Now let's talk a little bit about the latest developments in robotics based on artificial intelligence. Aptronic, supported by NASA, has entered the race to create versatile humanoid robots. Their humanoid robot project is still in its early stages, but in the future, the space agency hopes to use it to explore the universe. Aptronic's approach is to design a humanoid from scratch, initially prioritizing the cost and availability of each element. Everything from actuators and software will be developed by the company itself, taking into account the successful experience gained by engineers around the world in recent years. This will allow you to create the most accessible robot with the minimum number of parts. The price of the robot should be less than $100,000. Right now, the company has a robot called Astro without legs, but with pretty nimble arms. The robot is close to a human in strength and dexterity, but is apparently still controlled by a human instead of acting independently. The company also has prototypes that are learning to walk right now. Eventually, the developers hope to create an analog of the iPhone in the robot world. However, the developers do not promise artificial intelligence for the robot. Engineers plan to give this task to third-party developers. The company said that the start of production of the finished robot is scheduled for the end of 2024. Do you believe in the possibility of creating a universal humanoid robot in the near future? Write your opinion in the comments. Chinese scientists have created a liquid terminator. It is not yet as advanced as the T-1000, but it can already transform from solid to liquid form to penetrate obstacles and then reassemble itself back to its original state. This transformation is possible because of the low melting point of the material from which the robot is made. It is an alloy of gallium, iron, boron, and microscopic pieces of magnetic material from neodymium. The magnetic field can heat the robot by converting it into a liquid, as well as control its movements. In a solid state, it is able to hold objects that are 30 times its mass. Potentially, the robot can be used to place electronic components on circuit boards. It is also proposed to launch such robots into the human body. For example, to remove foreign objects from the stomach or targeted delivery of medicines. However, online users joke that scientists have not fully understood the meaning of the movie Terminator 2. And finally, an interesting mishap related to the GPT chat. Google is actively testing neural networks to build them into its search engine. And just recently, the GPT chat was interviewed by Google for an engineer with a salary of $180,000. The expert was held just as part of the test mentioned. GPT chat's ability to give clear and concise answers to questions could save users the time they would normally spend browsing through links on Google in search of the same information. At the same time, Google clarified that the GPT chatroom is not a substitute for software engineers. It's a tool that can help solve certain problems, but it can't completely replace creativity, problem-solving skills, and a person's critical thinking abilities. So we can exhale. Artificial intelligence is not going to be our master yet. Write in the comments, what is your opinion about the future associated with neural networks? What other ideas would you like to see on our channel? Write your opinion in the comments. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the Karo Show channel. Also watch our previous videos. Goodbye.